friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Sky. I am the owner of our online interior decor shop called House and Home. And today I am so excited because I am finally getting around to doing something that a lot of you have been asking about. I created my Amazon storefront. So I love doing these Amazon decor hauls for you guys. I think that based on the feedback I'm getting, you guys are enjoying them as well. I really just wanted to kind of create this place as a one-stop shop that you can go to to find some inspiration. Um, a lot of these pieces are pieces that I actually already own and am loving. And if I don't own it, it's on my wish list. I am also going to be linking each of these products that I share individually. So you don't have to feel like you have to go to the Amazon store and just go searching for everything. So it'll just be a one quick click to whatever it is that you're interested in or you are loving. I really hope that this video gives you some home inspiration. So without further ado, let's get into this. The first thing I'd like to share today is this glass jug that I just got from Amazon. I'm loving it so much. It has this really cute little handle at the top there, and then it says one gallon on both sides. It's just so cute and such a timeless neutral piece. My plan for this is to just add in a single stem or maybe two or three. Uh, you really don't have to do much. The opening of this jug is really small so you don't feel like you have to arrange this whole array of flowers. You can just pop in one or two and swap it out with the seasons. I think this is such a great piece and I can't wait to start decorating with it. I am loving these little hanging wire baskets. I think these would be perfect for a little bathroom. You could roll up some washcloths in there or throw your favorite little lotions or um, just hygiene products. I think it'd be so cute for a guest bath. You could even use it in the kitchen and you could put your produce in there. You could even use these in a kid's room and stack them full of books or their little small stuffed animals. Really just like so much potential with these. You guys know that I love blanket ladders, so you can see this one behind me. We actually had this one handmade, gosh, like five years ago when we moved to North Carolina, and I love it so much. It's one of my favorite pieces in our home. I just swap out the blankets with each season. Right now, we just have like some lightweight throws on there. I think it's so cute, but Amazon does have several adorable blanket ladders. I've added these two to my list here so you can see one of them is more of that natural wooden look like the one behind me and then the other one is this black metal style. We actually have this one. If you've been here for a while, you have seen it all throughout our home. I love this one. It is just so timeless again with just that black. It pretty much matches almost anything and it's just such a good piece to have. I love decorating with wreaths and these two in particular are so perfect because they literally work all year round. I love the magnolia leaves. As you guys know, I have one of these on my front door. I leave it up pretty much year round. For about a month or two in the winter, sometimes we'll put more of a Christmas uh, wreath up and have some lights on it. But aside from that, this is like my staple wreath. I also love the boxwood. I have one of these downstairs in our front entry room right above our piano. I think it's just so beautiful. It adds some greenery and I just love it. You guys have seen this cathedral mirror up in our master bedroom. It is so beautiful. I cannot get over it. It is just one of my favorite pieces in that room. because It fills up the space on my table so nicely. It's huge and I feel like for the size, it is such a great price. Ever since we shared our bathroom mirror in like one of my very first videos ever, I get questions all the time about it. So it is a pharmacy style mirror. I love it so much. It's probably like my favorite mirror in the house just because it not only is it beautiful, it is also really functional. I love the little shelf. I'm constantly swapping out what I'm putting on that shelf from little plants and succulents to soaps or room sprays 
to folded up washcloths or a bar of soap. You can put so much up there and it's just so cute, especially if you have a really small bathroom like we do. Our half bath downstairs is tiny. So I love this mirror for that space. I absolutely love this kitchen faucet. I think it is so beautiful. It's definitely very farmhouse cottage style and it's just such a good faucet. We get questions all the time about the curtains and the curtain rod that we have in our kitchen. So we have this little kitchen window that I love so much that overlooks our back deck and our backyard. It lets in so much light. But with that being said, I did want to add a little bit of character and texture into that little space. So I found this little black tension rod from Amazon. I love it. It's perfect. It fits my window just right. It is adjustable, which is so nice. And I bought these little rings with clips. If you've been here a while, you know that I love to use these with my curtains. I think they're so great. It is so quick and easy to hang them this way or take them out and swap them out. I'm just like a huge fan. And so then the curtains themselves are actually cloth napkins. I got this idea from a friend and I will never go back. <laughs> I'm so pleased with the way that they look. I love that the ones that I got are from Target and I'll go ahead and link those for you guys too. Um, I love that they're pretty sheer so they do block like at night if I'm in the kitchen I have enough privacy but during the day it also lets in enough light which is so nice. Because we are chatting about my kitchen right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just share a few more kitchen favorites that I have. Of course, you guys know that I love our milk glass light that we have in our kitchen. I have that here for you guys to see. It is so beautiful. It is one of my favorite finds. I eventually would like to get a second one to put it into our laundry room. It's great for a small space or a space that has lower ceilings. Our living room that we're in right now is two, has two story ceilings and then we kind of have just like this drop in ceiling that goes into our kitchen. So it's definitely lower and I didn't want to make that space feel crowded. So I love that this light doesn't drop down too far and it's white so it doesn't make it feel dark in that space. I absolutely love these hand loomed towels. I think they are so cute. They'd be adorable in your kitchen or even in your bathroom. I am loving this kitchen scale so much. We have this eat-in area um, right off of our kitchen and it's got a bay window and then it has like this awkward space on either side of the window. So I'd love to have a hanging plant on one side and have this scale on the other side. I think it would be so cute. I love just that it's got the white and it's got the black accents, very farmhouse style and just like right up my alley. This is the coffee maker that we have and I absolutely love it. We are big fans of Cuisinart. We have had Cuisinart coffee makers since we got married and they just work. It's pretty simple. It does let you set a timer um, so you can program your coffee to be ready when you wake up, which is the best thing. And it also has some different settings. You get to decide like how hot you want your coffee to be but it's not too fancy to where I can't work it because I'm not super tech savvy, so that is one of the perks of this one. We have also used a Chemex and we loved it. Honestly, the only reason why we don't use it every day is because it does take a little bit more time or you have to be more attentive to it, whereas when you put your coffee in the coffee maker and the water, you hit start and you can be busy doing other things or just relaxing. Whereas with the Chemex, you have to kind of constantly stand there and pour water in and wait and then pour more water in. Um, so on the slow weekend mornings, we like to use that one. It does make your coffee have so much more flavor. In my opinion, it's smoother. I do really love it. So this is the one that we have and we we definitely enjoy it, but we also love the convenience of our Cuisinart. 
I am also a tea drinker. I love to make London fogs or just to have a cup of tea, especially in the winter time. So I am a big fan of my electric kettle. I can't seem to find the exact one on Amazon. So I went searching and I found one that looks really similar and has good reviews. And honestly, now I want this one. <laughs> it is so beautiful. I love that it's just kind of clean and crisp and white. Mine does have a little design on it, which is fine. But I'm telling you, this makes life so much easier for so many reasons. My kiddos love to eat oatmeal for breakfast. All you have to do is fill this up and within a minute you've got boiling hot water. So I've got three different bowls that I can just put the oatmeal in and pour the water in, wait a minute or two and it's ready to go. Instead of swapping out bowls, putting them in the microwave. Honestly, this is such a time saver as a mom. And then again, I think that it just gets the water so much hotter for my tea versus having to like microwave. Anyway, that's just my two cents, but I think an electric um, tea kettle is just the best thing. This French press is on my wish list. I know, can a girl have too many coffee accessories? I think not. <laughs> I do have a little coffee bar and I think that this would be so cute because one, it's super aesthetically pleasing and goes with my kitchen decor, but two, just being able to, again, just have another way to be able to make coffee and this is a little bit quicker than the pour over. I'm also a big fan of milk frothers. We don't do dairy milk here because we have enough sensitivities to go around. So we usually use oat milk and it froths so nicely, like so nicely in this frother. I love it so much. I use it every single morning. This toaster is on my wish list too. This one is pretty enough to keep on the countertop and still go with my kitchen decor. So eventually, hopefully, I'll be getting this one someday. I'm also a big fan of having storage in your kitchen. I love these kitchen canisters. These are so cute. If I didn't already have some, I would totally be getting these. You could even use these uh, for coffee and tea and sugar, or you could use them for your flour and your sugar. So couple of different options there, but I think these are really cute and look so pretty on a kitchen countertop. I wanted to share a few of my favorite things that we have in our home that we use to clean with. So I am a huge fan of the Thieves Household Cleaner from Young Living. I've been using this for five or six years and it is my favorite, favorite, favorite cleaning solution. I use it on my kitchen countertops, my kitchen table. I use it to clean my bathrooms. I use it to clean stains out of furniture and rugs. I use it to clean stains out of clothing. I use it for everything and it's amazing. It's heavily diluted so one bottle lasts absolutely forever. I actually pour mine into an amber glass bottle. I love these so much. I have them all over my house. So I keep one in my bathroom, one in our powder bath downstairs, I keep one in the kitchen, one in the kids bathroom. And what I love about it is it doesn't have harmful chemicals in it so I don't have to worry about my kids being around it. And this is just a little spray bottle I did get on Amazon. These are so great. They come in several different sizes. I think this is the smaller eight ounce one or maybe it's 12 ounces, but I have the 16 ounce, which is the bigger one in my kitchen because I use it like six or seven times a day, wiping down the counters, the stove, the table, the kids' chairs that they're getting food on all day, and it's truly amazing. So honestly, I use one teeny tiny capful of my Thieves Cleaner. I pour that into this bottle and the rest is water, and I just shake it before every time that I use it. It truly works wonders. I love it so much. Something else that I always have on hand are these Magic Eraser Mr. Clean sheets. They also have the sponges. I like the sheets for my kitchen and the sponges more for like the bathroom, but these things are incredible. I think my mom told me about them a couple of years ago and I have been hooked ever since. I love these for so many reasons. One, because again, you don't have to use any chemicals or anything with these. Just literally get them wet with water and you are good to go. 
Another reason why I love these is because they work literal miracles. Like it says magic eraser for a reason. These things have got non-washable crayons and markers off of our kitchen table. They have cleaned my kitchen sink better than I have ever seen. I just cannot go on and on enough about these. They're incredible. One other cleaning item that I cannot rave enough about is my Roomba robot vacuum. It is literally my lifesaver. I could not go a day without it. <laughs> okay, that is a little extra. I could, but you wouldn't want me to because my house would be such a mess. I rarely ever get out a full-size vacuum and vacuum my house. This Roomba is amazing. I have had mine for five years and I run it almost every single day, if not sometimes twice a day. It works perfectly on our hardwood floors downstairs. And then when those are done, I'll take it upstairs and it'll go on my carpet. Now, I will say on the carpet, if you're wanting a really heavy duty vacuum, you are probably going to want to use a really heavy duty, nice vacuum. The Roomba does a good job, it really does. I run it and then I'll leave and I'll go to the grocery store or we'll go play outside or I'll run it before we, like as we're headed up to go to bed at night and I can wake up and my floors are clean and it's just truly the best thing ever. So if you do not have a Roomba, make sure you check this out. I have one of the older models. I have this 650, but I couldn't find it on Amazon. So I went one step up and I have the link for you guys for the 675, I think. And um, I'm sure it's even just a little bit better than ours. So definitely go check it out. And I also wanted to share this rug that I just ordered for our office. I can't wait to share our office with you guys. Right now, it is literally piled high to the ceiling with boxes of new inventory that we just got in. And yeah, it wouldn't be very fun if I shared it with you right now. But pretty soon, we are getting ready to just go through and organize the shelves make more space. I just got a new desk, which I'm excited about. That's going to be like our packaging desk. So we don't have to sit on the floor and package orders anymore. And I got this new beautiful rug and I think it is so pretty. I actually was telling Chad that I wish I had ordered another one in a larger size to go downstairs because I just love it that much. I think it's like super cute and vintage. I love the tassel detail on the ends and I like the pattern. I got the ivory one so it's pretty light and I think it's gonna be so pretty because we have um, really outdated brown carpet upstairs so I really wanted to just kind of like brighten things up in that room we get a lot of questions about the rocking chair that we have in our bedroom we just did our cozy cottage master bedroom reveal a couple of weeks ago and that chair was such a hit you guys loved it it was unavailable at the time and it looks like it still is I don't know how I ended up getting it but for whatever reason they have sold out so this is one that is very similar and I wanted to share that with all of you who have asked for the link for the other one I'm sorry but it looks like it's still gone but honestly I probably would have bought this one if I had found it I have been on the lookout for a vintage style fan to just like a tabletop fan to have on our desk in our office it is a small room and it does get warm really fast. It has two huge windows and it seems like the sun is always shining into that room and Chad and I are packaging away and like sweating. So um, I wanted to find a really cute fan that could go in there and this vintage style fan is so adorable. It's in this off-white color that I love and I think it's just so cute and it'll be perfect for our tiny little office. Okay friends, that is a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are an Amazon shopper like I am, I hope this gave you some inspiration for some home decor and home essentials that you can add to your space to make it a place that you love. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so that you don't miss a thing. I am coming at you guys next week with another 
great decor haul from house and home. We have had new arrivals just flooding our doorstep and I cannot wait to share those with all of you. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Make sure you give this a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.